What a great day. The middle of November, the sun is shining, temperature is warm, it's beautiful here. We finished the election, we're waiting for Thanksgiving and the rest of the holidays, how to spend the rest of the year. I know, how about on a beautiful boat here at South Mountain Yachts? We're previewing a 2010 Bayliner 315 Express Cruise. She's in great condition, loaded with features, twin 5.0 MPI Merc Cruiser engines, Bravo outdrives. She's got a generator for air conditioning and heat down below, full electrical power, on the hook or at shore. She can sleep six in comfort. The cockpit area is designed to handle 10 people in comfort. So come with me for a quick walk around tour on this vessel available today at South Mountain Yachts. This gives us a nice view of the full port side on this Bayliner 315 here at South Mountain Yachts. We see we have a nice rich blue colored hull, twin bimini's, radar dome up above and that curved Taylor windshield for that sleek sexy look. Now as we come around to the bow, we see we've got our Delta anchor right here, windless with both foot pedals and remote helm control. We've got our stainless steel forward facing horn. And this area here is a great feature. It's what I call one of the LLIs. Ladies like it. There's cushions below. Put them out here. You've got a great large foredeck cushion for folks to enjoy this area. We've got a center line walk through windshield right there. And then note the large slash windows on the side right here to allow a lot of light into the cabin. We've got a stainless steel bimini frame and a stainless steel VHF radio ratchet mount right there. There's our 315 badge. And then coming down to the transom, we see we have an extended swim platform here, which is a nice beach area. There's a boarding ladder off in the corner. This area here is a great entertainment space. You can swim, you can put a dinghy on here. It's great, just put a couple deck chairs out here and enjoy the view, which by the way, is pretty awesome down in Long Beach here. We've got the cruise ship terminal over there, the Queen Mary. This is where the Grand Prix is and the convention center right across the way. Stepping aboard the, the vessel, we see we've got a large area here. That's our trunk space. We actually store items in there and that's where our, our power panel is. We enter the vessel through this port side door right here and notice there's a hot and cold shower to rinse off before we get inside. In front of us, we've got our port side wet bar with our stereo control grab rail. Below there's room to store an ice chest, about a 50 or 60 quart igloo, and our basin here. This feature here is our forward facing, fore and aft facing chaise seat. It's an, another LLI feature. As we circle around, we get an overview of the vessel. We've got our L shaped seating here, comes with a table and two posts, one for high for when you want to use a cocktail table a lower post for when you want to use it as a sun pad. Moving forward, we see we have our helm seat here. This is a great feature. It swivels. So who's ever driving, when they stop, they can be part of the entertainment. Gives us a lot more room here 
and a lot more seating for entertainment. Here at the helm, we have multiple levels. We've got our windshield wipers. We've got our compass, engine operational gauges on the first level, tax, fuel, and speedometer next. Here we have our Garmin 741 XS. This is an awesome upgrade. The trim tab level indicators with lights that let you know how you're balanced. We've got our rocker switches there. Down below, more operational switches and our Garmin VHF radio. Our dual binnacle right here. And our tilt and trim switches right there. This gives us an overview of the cockpit. Engine access is nice and easy with the touch of a button. We can open and get access to our engine space. Notice it's actually designed so you don't have to even remove the seats. Now in front of us on the underside of the hatch we see we've got our table storage and we also have two poles. One is a higher pole for when you want to use it as a table and then the shorter pole late keeps it lower so we can actually use it as a sun pack right in front of us we see these twin Merc Cruiser 5.0 MPI engines notice how neat and clean this whole engine space is we've got our batteries off to the side and then right in front of us right here we have the in, uh, generator right here in front of us. Off to the side, we see our holding tanks and our vacuum flush system with the macerator discharge. Once we finish our inspection, just pull back, and with the touch of a button, there we are. From here, we enter the vessel through the center line sliding door and down a few steps. Here we have an overview of the interior cabin on this vessel. You can see there's been some nice upgrades on the boat. For example, the flooring inlaid, vinyl interior, and then immediately on our left side, or port for the purists, we have our galley. Up above, a flat screen TV, which can be pulled out and swiveled microwave cabinet storage there we've got our jensen stereo a corian style countertop with a pull out faucet and then below refrigerator cabinet storage and drawers as we move forward we have our v berth which is about seven feet long on the slant. Notice there's a privacy curtain. Bayliners upgraded the fabrics and some features on their boats over the years. Now, as we circle around, we see we even have our life jackets there. There's storage down below. And then to starboard or on our right hand side, we have our sofa can easily seat three or four people there's storage underneath and then there's a lower post the table can be lowered and you get another sleeping area and there's cushions stored in the aft berth to pad that out notice how 
bright the cabin is. I've got half the curtains drawn. You don't have that below cave feeling on it. As we circle around, we see our thermostat there. Yep, this vessel has a generator and is nicely air conditioned so you can enjoy her year round. We've got our wet head here, fully lined fiberglass with a vacuum flush head system that helps to keep the boat cleaner and fresher. Easy to care for, easy to clean. We've got that pull out RV style faucet right there, just yank it out. And there is a power vent in here, which is a great feature. Moving aft, this gives us a view, port and starboard, head on one side, stairs in the middle, and here's an awesome feature. We have a private mid-berth right there and right as we enter there's enough headroom there so someone can stand and change get in and out of their bathing suit we've got lockers below and above we have our power panel as you can see we've got shore power one shore power two so you can split it and then we have our generator control there our mid cabin is 54 inches wide, full beam, so it's 10 feet long, and there's also storage up under the headboard. We've got a window and our carbon monoxide detector. Those pads that you see there are our floor deck cushions. This is a great place where a lot of stuff ends up being stored. This vessel is very well powered with twin Merc Cruiser, 5.0 MPI engines, has newer outdrives on it, been well refurbished. She's neat, clean, air conditioned, and odor free. Viewer today, owner tomorrow. And at the end of this video, you can read all the specs attached.